Alright, I'm going to give you another update on the car. Uh, I've got the fenders pretty much done, uh, except for the sand and the very last coat of primer along with the car. So let me give you a quick tour and here we go. Alright, these are just a couple of subtle things that I've got to straighten out. Turn the music down just a wee little bit. But uh, here we are. Both these sides, these are just places I've got to deal with, but they're overall, it's not bad. A couple of little itty bitty places. Uh, and I think it's going to be just absolutely perfect. A really nice body. It actually came out a lot better than I thought it would. I was sort of expecting to see this and that. And, couple of things that surprised but I wasn't surprised at all and I've got my firewall painted and that looks pretty decent uh, you know it's not a show car but this is all gonna be I think it's gonna be just fine and I got my fenders are straight and I've got all the primer they're in primer right now I'm sure you remember how bad they were I haven't done anything more to the rear fenders, but that shouldn't be any big deal uh, because a lot of the, the stuff that you can see has been finished. Here are the fenders. This is the rear ones. And once I sand this, which I don't have to do any kind of, uh, make anything out of it, I just have to sand it sort of smooth because it's hidden. Uh, the only part you're really gonna see is this part here. So I got to do something with this one area here, and this is the part you see, and this is parts covered up, like in there. So, and these are the front fenders, the ones that I had so many patches and stuff on them. They were terrible with all the, but they came out really nice. This is where the headlight bar is going to go, right there. That's what that little dimple is, is a little bit of putty that I pushed out from the other side with the screwdriver but yeah these are not bad this one area here gets covered up with the grill so you don't see that and you don't see much of this in here so I don't need to worry too much about that but the fenders are pretty daggone straight and uh, I am well satisfied with them for what this is so now I am working on the engine I'm going to finish up what I started on the engine. I've got the valve in, the valve train, and uh, it all looks like it's going to seal up okay. I turned all the lights off and shined a flashlight up in the port to see if I could see any light coming out, because I know it leaked fluid, but I figured if, if I'm lucky it doesn't leak any light, then they'll just have to pound themselves uh to where they'll seal after it starts to run it'll have to seal itself I guess you would say because it's I've done it as good as I can do it uh, it looks like all the valves are going to seat just fine uh, I've tried everything I can do to to make them that way so uh, I figured if I if I get them 75 percent then we're gonna have to live with it and uh, but everything else should be okay. These things are pretty forgiving on the little mess ups that people do. But everything's new, and that's probably going to be my only grief is the valve job. But it probably I'm probably overthinking things. But uh, I've got all the valve train in and the valve springs, and <laughs> they said uh, 13 to. Uh, uh, 13 to 15 thousandths uh, gap here uh, valve lash <laughs> these things are more like uh, 20 and 25 I mean right down the chute so I can't make I can't stretch the valve so we're just gonna have to let her make a little bit of valve train noise but uh, we'll see heck with it like I said these things are really forgiving so I've got my bench a little bit cleaned off here. This is actually a little clean 
to where I can work. I got my piece of plastic down to keep things clean. So I am going to start cleaning up the remainder of the parts and putting this thing together. I put the engine in it and uh, I guess that's what I'm going to do is to get the engine finished, drop the engine in it, and uh, uh, then I'll do the electrics and then I guess I'll shoot some paint on it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the, the way I'm going to do this. So, and, and do the brakes, but I can't do the brakes until I put the engine in because I can't adjust anything because the transmission's floating, uh, floating like that with tied with a rope. And of course you got the brake pedal there. So I have to have the engine in it to do the brakes. And, uh, so here we are. So there's a picture of it in primer, ready for the, I guess you would say the final sanding. And then I have to really make a decision on the color. I, I'm leaning towards uh, maroon, but I have actually seen some greens that I like. And with uh, black fenders, I'm almost sure I am going to go with uh, black fenders and the and and here black and the running boards. You know, the bottom half of the car. I think. You never know. I might change my mind to uh, see something I like, but. Those are two things that I like, and so uh, here we are. It's a little cloudy in here. I've been running the heater, and uh, it's not too awful bad in here. All right, so uh, this is where we are right at this moment. So we'll see how it works out. Come a long ways, but got a long ways to go. All right, later, guys.